Vic, in tonight's top story, we now know the name of the man who was shot and killed when local, state, and parish officers opened fire on an armed robbery and shooting suspect who led them on a high-speed chase. It happened late yesterday afternoon at a busy intersection at Greenwood and Juwella. Today, a witness is telling NBC6 News what she saw, and Delano Henry joins us now live from that intersection with more. Delano? That's right, Jackie. Alicia Monks tells us that she was stopped in her car with her kids at this intersection here. Now, she also says that she didn't see the suspect with a gun, but police say the suspect did have a gun and they had to use lethal force. This man was just murdered in front of me. Alicia Monks says she never thought in a million years she would run into what she witnessed Wednesday afternoon. And they're headed my direction, so I'm like, oh my God. Shot fire, shot fire, vehicle stop. Shreveport police say Travinsky Odom led police and deputies on a high speed chase for nearly an hour. Monks and her kids caught right in the middle at the intersection of Greenwood and Juelo, where the chase violently ended. My son saw him being shot. Monks says she saw Odom's face his last moments alive and she doesn't recall him having a gun. Right as he removes his hand, he pops the door open. As he reaches to pop the door and the door flings open, a shot is fired. Caddo Sheriff Steve Prater says Odom pointed a gun at officers as the stolen SUV rolled to a stop. We knew that he had already shot someone. We knew he had robbed someone. We knew he had a gun and shot, had a shot at innocent people during the chase. Police made many attempts to stop Odom. The chase started when they got a call about Odom threatening to harm himself and others on North Market. Prater says six law enforcement officers were involved in the shooting. Nobody comes to work wanting to shoot somebody. The law enforcement personnel had no had no alternative. We, we, there was no other options open. My son wasn't able to sleep. He was like, mama was all fun and games and cool when they were chasing and the strips were thrown. But he was like, I didn't expect them to kill him right in front of us. Police say they found the gun in the stolen vehicle. This case is still under investigation. Back to you. Yeah, and yesterday the sheriff described it as an active shooter situation, so fortunately no one else was hurt. Thank you very much, Delano.